hopeful Jared Fogel's sentence will offer his victims a sense of support from the justice system. But a local man who experienced abuse as a child says the physical and emotional scars last a lifetime. RTV6's Katie Hines is live in the newsroom to explain. Katie. Erica and Anderson man describes the impact of the repeated sexual abuse he suffered as a child as profound. But both he and child advocates agree there is something we can all take away from the former subway pitchman sentencing. That is how to help. It's something Keith Morris kept quiet for years. He was repeatedly abused by a national church leader starting when he was 12 years old. As a young kid, I. I didn't know what the normal was. Morris says his father, a pastor, urged him to travel with the church leader at one point for a full week. But anything you can imagine happened to me that week. I have physical scars from that event. Morris says he buried his past before attempting suicide almost 25 years later. The way that I picked to die was I was going to jump off a bridge because every time this man victimized me, I would fall to the ceiling and watch what was going on. He isn't alone. Child advocates say the emotional scars from abuse never go away, and the recovery is lifelong. Child sexual abuse has been proven to be a trauma, an actual, literal, diagnosable trauma. It is not a bad experience that happened to somebody. It is truly a trauma. Toby Stark is the executive director of Chaucey's Place, a not-for-profit aimed at preventing child sexual abuse. She says that while the lives of Jared Fogel's victims are forever changed, we might all be able to help prevent abuse. What we really are imploring to people is, please take that next mental step and think, that is just terrible. Now, what can I do about it? Morris hopes sharing his story raises awareness. There are thousands that don't get caught and thousands who are walking the street who haven't been caught. Stark says child pornography has the potential to re-traumatize victims for the rest of their lives. That's because those images don't go away. She says what makes the trauma worse is in 90% of the cases, the victims, like Morris, are abused by someone they know. Katie Hines, RTV6.